And uh, I'm Dan Johnson talking with Larry Mednick, the designer of yet another thing. So, Larry, what's different about this rev than the previous revs that we've looked at? Yeah, we're very proud to introduce uh, the latest uh, version of the rev with our new optional Polini. Uh, and it is the Thor 250. It's a dual ignition uh, motor that's liquid cooled, has a gearbox as opposed to the redrive that you usually see in this class of motor. And it also has a centrifugal clutch as well, and not to mention a counterbalanced crankshaft uh, for smoothness. This is uh, 36 and a half horsepower as opposed really? to our wow. stock motor, which is uh, 34 horsepower with Simonini, the uh, Mini 3. But uh, we actually were able to, with the SolidWorks files that Polini provides, we installed the engine in the computer. Uh, is that then, right, really? Yeah, and uh, I did not oversee the installation. They put it all together with the couple of brackets we designed on uh, SolidWorks, <laughs> and here it is. Is that right? So here we got a simple, fairly simple little airplane. I don't want to diminish the effort that you put into designing the thing, but fascinating to me that a system like CAD helps you do that kind of work before you even start pulling wrenches out. That was pretty neat, having the motor with all the mounting points and uh, the SolidWorks of everything, the hoses, I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's pretty neat to see it uh, before we saw it, and then, of course, seeing it in person was pretty awesome. So I, I hadn't realized, Larry, about this business of this having a gearbox on it, because you're right, all the other small powered parachute motors and everything I've seen, they're all redrives with belts on them. Absolutely, and one of the things that uh, I don't think people realize is when you use a belt redrive, now again, is, is if you get small enough, it's not a big problem, but as you start to hit 35, 40 horsepower, um, spinning the crankshaft the opposite direction as the propeller that you only get from using a gearbox makes a difference in canceling each other out in torque effect. Ah, it doesn't really, almost like a boxer engine works then with the cylinders opposing one another. Because here we're only a single cylinder. Correct. And that's usually an invitation to some kind of vibration problems. There's a lot of people using this uh, particular motor, the B-Light guys. Uh, uh, Brian Carpenter with his uh, new um, uh, motor glider. His EMG and, uh, thing, yeah. A uh -huh. ton, ton of people using the motor. All the PPG guys that have been by, they're like, oh, there it is. You know, it's, it's the motor. They already know the motor. To their back. Yeah, right. So, well, it's kind of also remarkable to me the total package here. I'm standing in the, cutting the sun off of it here, but the overall package of the engine isn't very big, and to put out 36 horsepower. 7,500 RPM. Wow, okay, so part of it is the magic of high RPM then. Well, and it's just, uh, I think there's a lot of technology in this, and being water-cooled, uh, I think you, you, they're getting a lot out of the motor, but uh, uh, it's also a reliable motor. For so basic rev uh, is a part 103 vehicle, or can be anyway. I know you can load it up with too much stuff. That's always possible. But will this one also make that, do you think? This one here misses by about three pounds uh, without any of the options. Adding on the parachute, bumping you to 278, brings you in right at 270, and leaves you a little bit of weight allowance for some of the other options. Okay, you great. Add. So, so you've worked with a parachute for a long time. You're going to use that, or you will offer that on this as well, and then someone could fit with this engine into Part 103. Of, yeah, any kind of a uh, emergency uh, device will allot you the additional weight to bring it to 278, to make this a legal configuration in the part 103, whereas our Simonini Mini 3 works without any kind of emergency uh, parachute system to meet the 254 at 251. Okay. All right, so uh, you talked about the gear drive on it now, and you also mentioned a clutch. So first of all, for those that may not know why a clutch is useful, describe that, and, and then we'll go a little further into the engine itself, Larry. Yeah, basically it's pretty neat when you start the engine up, um, when you start anything without a clutch, you get a lot of vibration as it starts, and you also tend to tax the electric motor a little bit. So in an effort to keep things light and keep vibration low, um, starting it without engaging the propeller allows them to use a smaller uh, little starter. And uh, basically when you give it gas, the propeller starts to turn. So it is electric start. It also has a pull start that's included. And uh, we're running okay. all that off of our uh, EarthX lithium battery, which is standard equipment. Oh, those tiny little batteries yeah, that are very light. We like those. Yeah, pounds, and uh, it's got inc incredible uh, cranking power. So electric start, liquid cooling, gear drive, clutch, 36 horsepower, single cylinder, low vibration. Sounds like quite a package to me. I don't know how you're not going to sell a lot of these. This is the motor everybody's been looking at. All right, so it gets up and goes pretty well. How are you going to stop this thing now? 
we have what I'm really proud to show you. Uh, it's quite a braking system. This is uh, something new. I hadn't heard about it until I was talking with the designer at uh, Freebird Innovations or Black Max. He says, well, you know, we've got this Super Stole braking system. It's two brakes built into a single caliper, four brake pads on one disc, and uh, I, we wound up combining it with a Matco master cylinder with an intensifier kit, which increases <laughs> the pressure it puts out by 60%. So stop in we better we, we better go have a look at this. You're going to have to tell we'll me all that again, I think. But All right, now we've come around to the front end, or what I'll call the stopping end in this case. So that powerful little engine is going to shove this thing forward, and you're saying that this new system now uh, is going to really provide some braking power that you haven't had access to before. Yeah, we've really got some awesome stopping power. We're using a It doesn't a look like too much, so what's going on down there? Well, this is a Matco master cylinder, but uh, they have uh, they offer an intensifier kit. It increases the uh, the pressure it puts out by 60%. The hydraulic pressure, then. The hydraulic pressure. Ah, okay. And now, that was normally on the older revs last year. That was going to a single caliper disc brake. This is... Which means one bit of grip on the disc. Two on the, brake on the pads, disc. One piston. Right. Now we have four brake pads, two pistons. We have literally two brakes. They're joined uh, like Siamese twins on there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see that there are actually two whole systems down there. And then. Uh, this, this brake system was designed for aircraft like the uh, Just Super Stole with the great big tires on it. And I said, well, that sounds great. Let me try one. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> So You've always had an open mind about trying some new ideas on your aircraft, and here's just another one now. So, so no, you don't need you don't need to worry about any brakes on the main gear then. No, not at all. Which keeps it nice and simple, all up here, not having to run lines back there and that Absolutely, sort of thing. Absolutely, because remember the front end disconnects, so we want to keep all that hydraulic braking system up here in one system. Right. The back is another system with the uh, quick disconnect on the throttle cable. Right. Excellent. That's so. That's good stuff. Now. Have, have anything else about the rev change that you'd like to tell us about? One of our newest options, and I wish it was nighttime to show you the power of these LED landing lights that we've installed up here on our roll cage mast. Yeah, I saw some stuff up here. Is this what we're talking about? Yeah, they are. They blew us away. Again, this is the first time I've seen them installed, and uh, they make things daytime in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, it's a CNC case, uh, six LED lights per light. And the candle power is just awesome. I don't have the figure. They don't on really, it. again, like kind of like the brake. It doesn't look like that could actually do all that much. But uh, absolutely unbelievable. You're, we're going to have a lot of UFO sightings. I have a feeling on the <laughs> news uh, when uh, people see this thing flying. Cool. Well, Larry, uh, when I've flown the Revo in the past, there's a lot. And there's so many features on this aircraft that it's hard to describe all of them. And now you've added yet another one to it. So what's this all about? Yeah, well, this feature is something to help you fly the aircraft easier, especially in turbulence. So you flew it out in uh, Arizona in the middle of the afternoon. And we got bounced around a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and the bar was moving around. Now imagine that uh, when you took your hands off the controls, that the controls didn't keep moving around on you. And they kind of stabilized all by themselves. We have uh, that would be something, no question. We have installed a very simple dampener from a 200 mile an hour. Uh, this uh, belongs on a Hayabusa Suzuki motorcycle. <laughs> it is for dampening the steering while uh. we're virtually using it for its intended purpose, but on our wing. And that little shock absorber up there, or uh, steering damper, it restricts the movement uh, in a way that uh, it's it's basically uh, as I mentioned to you when you're flying to relax your elbows to turn your body into a shock absorber Now we have a shock absorber so you can take your hands off you can hold the bar like this Or however you want to hold it. It's much less important The wing has been completely tamed down and it has a bit of a self-correction to it now in, in turbulence as the wing gets lifted the damper is already putting in a corrective action really? faster than any human can do it because it's now it's automatic it puts a resistance on the controls as they tend to move away from their center point and that resistance actually does billow the ascending wing 
which is a corrective action. And of course, the sooner you correct for the wing coming up in turbulence, the less you have to correct. So this thing is on it with no delay. No yeah, faster reaction. than I can appreciate what's going on. It's already sensing it and doing it. Big difference. So there's is there sensing is to this as well, or is it a purely uh, mechanical slash hydraulic sort of thing? Purely hydraulic. It is fully adjustable. And originally we thought that some of the advanced uh, pilots would like it turned way down so it wouldn't really inhibit the maneuverability of the aircraft. And what we found was that everybody liked it as tight as it would go, including myself. Is that right? Okay. It actually has made me a better pilot. I am smoother than I've ever been in the air, thanks to this. And uh, I have uh, soloed students using this uh, system uh, in a record time that's uh, five hours shorter than my previous record really? for anybody. Wow. It's happening quickly. That's quite a bit, yeah. It's the perfect combination. We've done a little bit of uh, testing, experimentation, and uh, we're loving it. And uh, everybody that's uh, flown it has uh, had nice things to say about it. Well, good for you for always picking up on new ideas that you find, Larry. You seem to be very adept at that, and you've done it consistently over many years now we've been watching. So we've given a lot of information about the new Rev with the Polini engine on it and the braking system and now the dampener system on the, on the Revo. Um, but people are always going to have more questions, or maybe we've convinced them with this very video. Where can they go to find you on the web, Larry, so that we can send more people your way? Yeah, you can find us at evolutiontrikes.com. Pretty simple. Lots more about Rev, lots more about Revo, and all kinds of affordable aviation available on bydanjohnson.com.